Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I just wanted to come here and get something off my chest. As usual, it comes to me in the AM and I don't feel like prepping or writing anything down. I just want to spit it out. So what I want to talk about right now is what the fuck are you scared of? Especially now there's a lot of things that we could talk about. But for right now, I just want to talk about tarot cards, right? Because I was apprehensive to bring it to my channel. I've been doing tarot cards for years now. Years, maybe four or five years now. I was apprehensive because of judgment. Now I could give two shits about judgment. But what I want to do is to explain to you what you probably don't understand or don't know about tarot cards. If you know that everything in the world is a lie, right? Why wouldn't you open your mind to maybe think about tarot cards, just this particular subject, what you've been told was a lie to? The issue for many individuals coming outside of the matrix, you like to hold on to certain ideologies that you're comfortable with. This is where we F up at. You have to let go of everything. Come back to a new way of beginning. When you hold on to old concepts, and this goes not only for tarot cards, this goes with everything. We're holding on to these new, these old ideologies. You're doing away with some, and then you're holding on to um, the ones that serve you, that you think serve you. Because you're comfortable, because you're scared, you're fearful. You have to let that go if you want your soul to evolve. You get stuck in a rut if you continue to hold on to things inside of the matrix because of fear. Your birthright has been taken from you. Your birthright has been taken from you. This is why the matrix was designed to keep you from your birthright. If you understood your birthright and if you understood how powerful you truly are, you wouldn't have a damn problem with tarot cards. Or anything else for that matter. You wouldn't have a problem with people coming outside of the matrix and going their own way because it's their birthright. They've gotten knowledge from their higher self. Nobody else. I don't worship anybody. No one, no thing do I worship. I understand that there is a higher power. I acknowledge that the higher power is a part of me. I acknowledge that my universe is a part of the higher power. That's what I acknowledge. I don't worship anyone. The initiation is initiation for your soul. Just in case some of you were wondering. It's not for the Illuminati, like I hear people talking about, they throw around that word so often and they don't know what the hell they're talking about. It is very funny. And I think they just want something to discuss because they're confused. But back to the tarot cards. The tarot cards, all it is, is manipulation of energy, manipulation of atoms, manipulation of thought forms. Once you come inside of your spiritual awakening and you start to do the work, you realize that the world is very majestical, very paranormal, very mystical. You start to see that you are, without worshiping anybody, without looking outside of yourself, you're able to manipulate atoms. It's manipulation, not in a bad sense, not in the matrix form of a manipulation to gain what you want. That's not what I'm speaking of. I'm speaking of manipulation of atoms, removing the atoms to gain the atoms that you need 
to interact with the being that you are trying to interact with, which is a human you. When I do a reading for you, I'm removing all of the atoms that no longer serve me in the form of me thinking about food, me thinking about uh, my chores that I have to do at home, thinking about a parent, thinking about I'm removing all those aspects of energy to gain the energy that best suits you. The thought form that best suits you. Tarot cards is just a form of practicing your birthright. A lot of us are not tarot card readers. A lot of us can are telekinesic. A lot of us, there's other, there's so many powers that we have and you just don't know. Not everybody has the same capabilities. Some people can see thoughts. Some people can hear thoughts, clairol audio. Some people see the thoughts in their dreams. Those are part of your birthright that the government or the powers that be have kept you from. Because if they knew or found out that you were able to do those things because they know that you are. But if you were able to strip yourself from the matrix, get into your spiritual routine. Then that's when they come for you and deem you as crazy, not fit for society. You lost your rockers. You're, you're, you're going off Kelter. You know what I'm trying to say? And that's just not true. So I just wanted to come to you and let you know what tarot cards were. It's a form of your birthright. Pretty soon you don't need the tarot cards. The only reason why we're using tarot cards is because we've fallen from grace. We've fallen from what we were what was our ancestors doing? They were telepathic. They used their minds to talk to individuals. But because we've fallen from grace and because we've fallen in this low fucking dimension, we have no way of communicating anymore because all of our powers were stripped away from us. So tarot cards were invented as a way to gain your powers back because eventually you will not need the tarot cards anymore. Eventually, you will be able to communicate with your mind. This is a form of going to and another thing people are like, well, you're reading your your uh, when you're reading the tarot cards, you're thinking about, you know, you're letting them dictate what your reality is going to be my People are reading. Some people can read six months out. Some people can read for the now moment, the present moment. My tarot cards are those two. I read for the present moment what I see, what I what I hear or what I envision for the now moment. And then for maybe six months out. That's how far minds go. Some people can go years out or weeks out. It all depends on that reader and what information they're able to receive. But it's dimensional. It's dimensional. We are on all of these dimensions. So yes, what I read for you today could be what is going on today. But in another dimension, something else is happening. And you can choose to stay in that dimension or change your vibration to get in another dimension. So that doesn't happen. People, I'm sick of people demonizing the things that they have no clue about. All they're doing is taking the old ologies and concepts and applying them to their new life, which makes no fucking sense, right? Who told you tarot cards was demons? Who told you that? Who told you that people are talking to demons when they're talking to, when they're using tarot cards? Who told you that? Like I said before, I talk to no one. 
I channel no one but my higher self and the spirits of me that are in those different dimensions. I can see or or get information from a different dimension because it's atoms and give it to you because I know what dimension you're going to go on. If you don't want to go on that dimension, you change your ways. Tarot cards is dimension and timelines. Thought forms. All of it is stems from atoms. Once you know you're able to manipulate this dimension and go in and out of dimensions, you are a very majestical being, but you have to do the work. And it doesn't involve talking to demons or talking to anybody outside of yourself. This is where everybody gets the shit misconstrued. You're not talking to beings outside of yourself. Although others are doing that, I'm not that girl. I would never do that. I want to go into more about tarot cards, but that's the gist of it. Manipulation of atoms, timelines and dimensions. That's what tarot cards are. It's a cheap way of using your birthright so you can get back to not using the cards and just using your mind to do the manipulation of atoms, timelines and dimensions. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Bye.